everybody it's sam here thank you for watching so today i've revisited the bay window card which i made i believe it was six by six version probably a couple of years ago now so i was doing a facebook live recently and i've made a five by seven version which is this one here and i've done a b theme so basically this comes up it's got a little instruction there tuck me in so you just tuck it behind this piece and you have a bay window these look really good with scenes on them so if you've maybe got like a christmas scene or looking into maybe a shop window or looking out of your window and there's a nice country scene it's a really fun style for that it all stands up like so and you've got your space on the back there to write your message and in this one we've got the cute little bees so i'm recreating this one again but in brighter colors so it's a really simple style you don't actually need any dies to make this one i cut all this by hand and i will talk you through all of that in the video so I'm using supplies from Kit 46 from the Paper Craft Society and I'm mainly using the stamp set. So I've used the honeycomb stamp here, the large flower and then the sentiment there, be and happy. As always, everything will be linked below. I'm also using the bee trail there as well, which is very, very cute. So I've already prepared this piece of card here. So this is 10 by 7. And along the 10 inch side, you want to score at five, six and a quarter, eight and a quarter and nine and a half. If you then fold it in half and fold this end tab away from you, that's the area that I've stamped in. And I wanted to create my own shaped aperture. Now, this will work with any stamps. You might have some floral stamps. and You want to stamp a few of them, you know, around the top, around the bottom keep yourself a space in the middle and then cut that out. So it's quite a creative way to make your own shaped aperture. If you don't have stamps, you don't want to use any stamps, then use your shaped dies, circle, oval, squares. You can cut a square shape, draw around a circle. So there's lots of ways to create the aperture. So I've gone ahead already and stamped that and I just used a marker just to create a little bit of shadow on there as well. So now I just want to cut out the middle. So I'm just going to cut a line right the way down first. And then I can get in with my scissors and I'm just going to take away all of the bulk. And now if you go in from underneath, it's really easy to go around and cut the rest. In fact, I'm going to go this way. Yeah, that feels better for me. So it's just really easy now to follow the shapes. Like I said, any shape that you've created, if you go in from under, you don't have things in your way. So there's my aperture all cut. Then you just want to carefully fold all of the other score lines. So all of these folds need to be mountain folds, even the very first one that folds in half. So mountain, 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 and then this last one needs to be a valley. That's our little tuck panel. So that's going to go underneath where the sentiment's going to go. I want this to pop a little bit more, that design. And it was this white piece of card that transformed this one because it was just missing something. But as soon as I added that white, it just completely lifted the card and everything was a bit more balanced. So this piece here is three and three quarters by seven. And that one's going to go right underneath. And you can see straight away, it just brings out all of that design. Now, I said once I'd stuck this down, it would look nice if it was embossed. Now, I do have this honeycomb embossing folder, but it's a six by six. However, because the aperture is quite small, I'm still going to use it because you're not really going to see the top and the bottom unless you open it right up. So I'm just going to run that one through. It's the Creative Craft Products honeycomb six by six folder. OK, so you can see now that looks really nice with the embossed detail. I'm just thinking that's the side. That's the emboss side. I quite like the debossed side yeah i think i'm going to do the deboss side so you can still use embossing folders even if they're not you know the size for the card that you're making i think the border at the top and the bottom because i've you know done it equal i think it just looks like it's part of the design so this one is going to butt right up to the fold there inside the card okay then i've got this one here which i've already stamped my sentiment on 
Now this will vary depending on the sentiment. You might not want to have a vertical sentiment like I've done. It could be patterned paper and your sentiment can be on the front here. It could be inside. Lots of ways to change this. The silver piece is one and a half by seven and the white piece is one and a quarter by seven. I've popped some foam up behind that one. Again, it's optional. But you do need to add foam to the bottom because it needs to become a stopper. So it's like an easel card and you can have this style this way as well and maybe have a topper in not have the aperture and you know you can it turns into a completely different card then i'm just going to cut these foam strips in half i just went to stick the full ones on and then realized you, you only want to stick them on this side here so when you flip it over it's the left side only because you need your tab there to be able to go underneath so these are the creative craft products they're the one inch um pads they're brilliant they're just so easy to peel off and they're really sticky as well and until you push them down you can reposition them like so okay and then you want to stick this right down into the corner make sure you start with the base get that lined up so your card doesn't rock and then if you're out at the top you can always trim that and then you can see that one will just sit behind and that's what will lock it in place and allow it to stand up. So you've got that bay window. What I've also added is I've got my, these are all the action stamps. So I thought it'd be good to have a direction for this one because it's going to go in the envelope like so. Most people are probably going to open it like this and not quite know what they then are meant to do with it. So I've cut this strip to go on this piece. So you want it to be just under half an inch by seven. And I've just stamped there, tuck me in. And you've got all of those words on here and you can obviously change it a little bit. I did think when I was doing this, I thought, you know, what? I haven't got the word under. I thought I'd gone through every single one you can think of and I didn't do under. Anyway, because it could have had tuck under or tuck me under. But tuck me in, I think, is quite cute anyway. So I'm just going to run some of my, just the construction glue down there so it's nice and strong. I've stamped it towards the bottom, just line that up and then I'll trim off the top when that's dry, but you'll see it will completely hide behind there. So I've got that little instruction on the front when they take it out of the envelope and then they know just to pop it behind there. Okay, so I've got my bees already here. So I've gone a bit different with the colour. And then we've got this one which is going to go inside. And I'm going to pop that up on a little bit of foam because I'm just thinking that one actually does look a bit lost now against the white. I think it's okay. We'll still go with it. I'm not going to worry too much. In fact, I'm probably going to do similar layout because I do like the way this one's done. So we'll have that one. We have him down there and then this one over here. Now, I was playing around with the flowers because I did initially stamp it in pink, but I didn't like the pink or the colour I chose. And then I heat embossed it. Did I keep that one? And then I coloured it a bit, but I didn't really like that. And that's in the silver. So you could keep it just plain silver. But then I tried it in the black and I actually quite like it. And then I thought I might do silver little um, sprigs. These ones are gold. I thought I'd do those in silver and it just brings that in a bit more. But I actually quite like it. And I didn't think I would, but I think the black and white flowers look different so we're going to go with that like i said you can do anything you want you can see how they look with the gold there look really nice so it just depends on the look the style colors that you're using so i'm going to get all of this stuck down and add all those little sprigs and everything and then i'll show you it all at the end Okay, so there is the finished card. I just added some accent glaze to the centres of the flowers there and also on the wings, just so they got a little bit more shine. I didn't add the little sprigs in silver in the end. I actually quite like it as it is. I've added the panel on the back here. This is four and three quarters by six and three quarters and I've stamped the other little swell there as well. And I do have somewhere little bumblebee so i will add that to the back as well you'll see this one here i've got the matching envelope i made this during the facebook live just use the envelope punch board but i made it this is what i call a bouncy envelope so when the card's not in there can you see it's quite dimensional 
it just means you can get the card even with the dimension into a five by seven envelope instead of using a box envelope and you'll see it all seals up if you did want to still send that through the post as always thank you so much for watching today i will have linked all of the product that i've used in the description box below this video and i'll have the other i think there's only one bay window on the channel but if there's another one or something similar they will be coming up now and i would have shared it earlier on in the video anyway and also if you're not subscribed and you've enjoyed today please subscribe and hit the notification bell and that way you won't miss out on any future videos see you all again soon bye